Hello, Jessica Frost Ballas here with a video for Honeybee Stamps. Today I'm sharing a simple stenciled card with lots of dimension, so let's get started. I'm using the Daisy Layers Bouquet Stamp and Die Set and the Coordinating Layering Stencil Set. First I place an A2 panel of white cardstock behind the first stencil layer. I took a risk and didn't tape my stencils in place, and it worked just fine, but if you're concerned about the stencil moving, I tape it down to be safe. I start by blending mushroom ink over the flower centers and the foliage sprays. This particular stencil layer also has some petals and I use a heavier hand to blend dragon fruit ink over the stencil. I'm using inks from Concord 9th today. Once I finish with the first layer, I lift it up and place the second layer down. Since the stencils are also cut to an A2 size, it's easy to make sure everything is lined up properly. On layer two, I blend sweet pea and dragon fruit ink onto the petals with a lighter hand. On layer three, I use just sweet pea. On layer four, I use pink lemonade with a tiny bit of sweet pea to darken the centers. And on layer 5, I use all the pinks, pink lemonade, sweet pea, and dragon fruit, concentrating my darkest colors in the center of each flower to create depth and dimension. On my final stencil layer, I start by blending mushroom ink onto the remaining flower centers, and then blend blueberry and midnight ink onto the petals. I use a light hand with the blueberry and then add shading towards the center of the bouquet with midnight ink. I blend the colors together by adding more blueberry on top. Honestly, I almost stopped here and didn't stamp the outline. In fact, I may have to use these colors again to create a card without the stamp because I really love how it looks with just the layered stencil. I'd love to know which version you like better. But for today's card, I use my Misty to line things up and then stamp the large detail stamp over my stencil design and die cut it with the coordinating die. I stamp with Versafine and heat emboss with clear embossing powder. Next, I use a piece of pattern paper from the Simply Spring pattern paper pack, trim it down to an A2 panel, and adhere it to a top folding card base. I stamp a sentiment from Daisy Layers Bouquet onto white cardstock first with Midnight Ink, and then again with Versamark, and this time I heat emboss it with clear embossing powder for a custom colored embossing. Then I die cut it with the coordinating die. Off camera, I decide to stencil the single flower, stamp it with the single flower image in the daisy layers bouquet, and then fussy cut it. I use foam mounting tape to add it to my card for a little extra interest. I use darker colors here for even more contrast. Finally, I adhere the floral bouquet and sentiment with foam mounting tape to finish the card. And that's it. I hope you enjoyed today's video, and if you did, I'd love for you to give it a thumbs up and leave a comment. 
Be sure to subscribe to the Honeybee Stamps channel for even more crafty inspiration. Thanks so much for watching and until next time, have an amazing day and happy crafting. Bye!